Hi guys, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you all being here. So today, well first let me get my safety gear on. Today, I am making another men's soap. Well, actually just using a men's scent. Maybe putting in a couple of colors. But let me show you what we're working with today. So, I got this scent from the Long Star Candle Company, or Candle Supply. It's called Bay Breeze Type. It's a real nice ocean scent, or bay scent, if you like to call it that. It's real light. It's not too strong, so it should work well with what we're doing. So, let's see. All right. So our oil and our lye is within 10 degrees of each other, and it's around 110 to 12 degrees. So that's perfect temp for getting started. Just make sure my oils are mixed well. Give my live water a mix one more time. So we already have our mold here. We have that set up. I already have my fragrance measured out. So we can set this out of the way. Get set up to start mixing. If you hear the growling in the background, it's Rosie and the Ruby. My two Shih Tzus. They're over there fussing over a pretzel. All right. Well, one last thing you can't forget. Can't forget the goggles. Safety first. So you want to make sure we get all the bubbles from under our stick blender. So we want to burp it. We don't want to have a bunch of bubbles in our soap. Then we're going to pour the lye down the stick blender. To also, one, keep it from splashing too much. And two, also, keep out as many bubbles as possible. the point of emulsification. Good to go there. Set that out of the way. First thing I'm going to do is pour off part of this into another container so I can add some colors. It's getting a little thick, but it's still okay. Okay. 
And I think I want to do this blue and this green. It's a couple of micas that I found online at Amazon. So I didn't pre-mix them. I'm going to mix the color in by hand. You know, I'll add my fragrance in right before I pour them into the mold. put away. All right. So this is mixed pretty good, but I'm going to hit it with the stick blender just to get it just a little more even. And also, I think I'll go ahead and add in the fragrance as well and go ahead and pour this one off. want to do is pour in the mold at an angle. So I have a towel here and I'm going to use just to tilt it so I can get it at that angle. So I'm going to pour off half the fragrance. I've never worked with this fragrance before, so hopefully it doesn't cause the soap to seize up. Let's give it a little stir first. my workspace is so tiny but this is the best space and the most well-lit space for me and I like everything being close by so it's starting to thicken up a little so we'll go ahead and pour it off
those two over there having a ball. So we have this at an angle, about as well as we're going to get it. We can slide this back a little. And our soap here is starting to thicken up just a little. So we're going to add in glue. And then I'm going to add in the rest of the fragrance oil and then start stirring by hand. So I'm incorporate it a little better. That's a pretty blue. a light scent so that's perfect well I don't think I'm gonna need a stick blender for this one Just slide over oops I'm gonna remove the towel now let's just get this in much out of this container as we can. Don't want to waste any. What I'm going to do is take the mold and tap it on the floor a few times to try to get any air bubbles out and make sure everything's packed in pretty well before you decide to do something with the top. So that should do it. Let's get this back in. Let's 
get this out of the way. And for this last part, I'm going to take the gloves off. Get a spoon. I'm just going to do a little to the top, not too much. This scent is really nice. Since it's thickened up so much, this isn't really working for me. So I'll tell you what. Instead of the spoon, I think I'm going to just go with the fork. show you what I'm talking about. So we'll just break across the top, just creating some lines. just to give it some texture. Another thing I like to do is just go around the edge of the soap, just the top, just to separate it a bit.
So we're going to leave it at that. We're going to give it a couple of sprays of some 90% alcohol just to prevent the soda ash on the top. Because I don't insulate my soaps. I don't go put them through gel phase. I just set them out just like this and let them harden. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate you tuning into the channel. Appreciate you watching. If you're new here, appreciate you joining, the subbing. So we're going to bring you back for the cut. That will be tomorrow. We're going to give this uh, 18 to 24 hours to completely harden through. And then we'll come back and we'll cut it and we'll see what it looks like inside. So thanks for joining. And thanks for watching.